he warms his hands again to move the energy and places his hand out over the central area of the abdomen that we know as the hara the hand coming to rest right over the navel he makes circular movements around the hara He checks the position of the navel, holds his hand to move the energy. And now he presses with the heel of the hand down on the first of nine points around the circle of the abdomen the nine points of the hara he pushes forward he changes the pressure to the fingertips and pulls back he moves his hand to the second position pressing down with the breath working always with the breath as his partner exhales he can move deeply into the tissue pushing forward and pulling back moving to the third position pressing down forward and back the fourth position pressing down with the breath forward always moving into the ahara with the exhalation and back the fifth point now John Call could come around to the other side and continue with this he chooses here to stay on the same side and now begin with the fingertips rather than the heel of the hand and instead of pushing forward he will pull back on the second breath and then using the heel of the hand push forward on the third breath coming around the seventh position notice how he uses the two hands one hand to support the other now he moves back to the use of the heel of the hand pressing down forward and back and to the ninth position moving in and forward and then shifting to the fingertips and back he holds his hand above the navel for a moment and comes in lightly 
and lets it rest with the navel under the palm of the hand and now he moves again around with the abdomen with circular movement Now straddling his partner, he places the thumbs in position for the six points of the abdomen. Going in, press into the abdomen with the thumbs straight down. Moving to the second position, points three and four. third position points five and six here he is working with one breath back up to three and four in the second position this can also be done holding and going deeper for a series of three breaths the first position points one and two Going back down a second time, three and four, and five and six. Once again, he takes his, the palm of his hand and circles the abdomen. bringing this part of the work to the close and then moving with his fingertips up the sternum to the clavicle and back down and back up with a series of finger circles pressing and circling. Now with both hands making circles the underside of the clavicle and back and out again Moving down into the intercostal spaces, he makes a series of finger presses and circles out between the ribs. Coming back up again. working the intercostal spaces. Now the hands on the side of the ribs cage, making circular movements, palm circles, down to the waist, back up, and back down again. He places his hands reaching under the waist, leans back and lifts the body up and toward him. Shifting the, posi the hand position up, he repeats the move three times, first at the waist, up, and then back down. Once more, the palm circles up the side of the rib cage. Coming back to the shoulders, placing his hands with the heel of the hand on the soft tissue and the deltoids. He leans in and presses once, moves out slightly, twice, and back. He uses his fingertips to circle the back of the upper trapezius and then hooks his fingers into the muscle and then lifts pulling the shoulders up toward him. Three positions out the shoulder and back. repeating the finger circles. He palm presses out the arms.
and comes back up to the shoulder again and repeats down the arms a second time to the hands pressing on the hands to open and stretch now he places his partner's arm out at right angles one hand on the shoulder, the other on the wrist and the hand he leans in and stretches and then palm presses together to the elbow back out to the shoulder and the wrist and then to the elbow and down the forearm one hand pressing on the hand, the other supporting the wrist he stretches and opens the wrist now Chong Kao begins to thumb press up the line of the forearm. Above the elbow he's moving up the back line between the bone and the triceps to the axilla and back down. Repeats the palm presses. Coming back, he holds the hand and stretches the wrist. Now he picks up the arm and places it down, the hand down by the side. He reaches in, stretches the arm palm pressing together to the elbow <clears throat> coming back down to the hand again opening the wrist and thumb pressing up the back of the arm on the middle line of the forearm moving above the elbow to the back side into the groove between the triceps and the bone back down the forearm between the two bones the radius and the ulna back to the hand and palm presses the arm stretching the wrist He picks up the hand, turning the palm up, and kneads the palm of the hand. And then laces his fingers together with his partners. And thumb presses down the six points of the palm. second time he walks back up and makes random thumb presses on the palm and then strokes down the palm with his thumbs He needs the palm to open and warm. Now pressing with the thumb out the five lines of the palm. Starting at the heel of the palm, goes out the thumb, now the index finger. Thumb presses out the palm to the metacarpals and the bone and then thumb circles pressing and then thumb circles thumb presses thumb circles he needs the hand and turns it over and now needs the back of the hand and starting at the base of the wrist he makes a series of thumb circles 
first out the thumb then out the channel between the second and the third fingers over to the second finger out the channel between the third and fourth fingers over to the third finger out the channel between four and five over to the fourth finger and making finger circles out the side of the hand he goes to the fifth finger Placing the fingers together, he supports the forearm and circles the wrist, rotating the hand from the wrist in each direction. And he stretches the arm, tractions. And notice he twists his fingers across his partners and then pulls the hand out. Now rotating the fingers, starting with the thumb in one direction and then the other, then with a good grip on the finger, pulling back against the arm. Rotating, reversing, grip and pull. Rotate, reverse, grip and pull. And now the fifth finger. He raises the hand up and kneads down the palmer side of the fingers, supporting the back of the knuckle, back of the hand, at the knuckle. Taking each finger in turn, now he does them together two at a time. Holding the fingers in his hand, the other hand with the elbow, he places his partner's hand down by the side of the head with fingers pointing back toward the shoulder. One hand on the elbow, the other in the middle of the thigh, he leans in and stretches the shoulder and the hip, rocking his own body. He comes up with his hand, pressing and kneading on the soft tissue of the upper arm, further stretching and opening the shoulder, continuing to use his own body in a rocking movement. He shakes out the arm and lays it down by the side, position at his partner's head. Instead of doing the other arm, he has proceeded to this position for the demonstration. Hands on the shoulder, he presses downward. Now with the thumbs, he makes a series of thumb presses out the back side of the upper trapezius. coming back into the neck, to the base of the neck. He repeats the palm presses once more. Now with the fingers, the long fingers, the middle fingers of the hand, he makes finger circles up the laminar groove of the neck. Lifting the neck up with the fingers in the laminar groove makes a series of lifts from the base of the neck up to the occipital ridge and back down. Repeating the finger circles up the back of the neck. He lifts the head and works with finger pressure out the occipital ridge, pressing 
with a little traction. Once more, finger circles. And now he lifts the head up and with the fingertips he makes a series of walking movements up the back, the center line of the back of the head. Up and back down. Repeating up again the back side of the head. Now he puts the head down and using one thumb on top of the other continues to make a series of thumb presses up the center line of the head up to the fore, uh, the uh, hairline of the forehead and then walking back thumb over thumb he repeats this process again Coming back a second time. And now he takes us into circular movements on the side of the head, shampoo. thumb on thumb he starts going out separating the thumbs making a series of thumb presses out the first line of the forehead going to the temple area the little hollow by the side of the eye coming down a second line he demonstrates a different approach using a sliding movement out the forehead on the third line again he uses a different approach different technique making thumb circles out the line each one of these comes to the core of the hollow by the eye and ends in circles at the temple. Now he presses out the upper ridge of the eye socket. out the nose, he draws the line around the cheekbone to the temple area. And now continues with the lines down the face. Working out the jawbone. To the ears. And now he massages out the soft tissue, the cartilage of the ear, the outer ridge of the ear, and closes his hands, cups his hand over the ear to give a moment of silence to his partner. He repeats this movement two or three times. Now making finger circles up around the back of the head, around the ears, and taking it again into the shampoo movement on the hair. He revives his partner, who has been lost in a deep meditative state. Part lying on her side. He begins to palm press from one leg to the other, working up to the hip and back. Moving around to behind the straight leg, 
he leans in and stretches the leg and then palm presses the hands together to the knee and out and back and down <coughs> he presses on the foot relaxing and further opening and continues with thumb presses around the sole of the foot working thumb on thumb changing to walking thumbs around the foot and then pressing again with the heel of his palm. Because of the position in the side, John Call can take advantage of the lines in a different way. He's going to do this so that he can move now on the leg going clear around to the back side. Consequently, he is moving differently This is the second line of the thigh. Going back to the first line on the calf. Now he will move around farther on the calf up to the third line of the thigh. Coming down, around the second line of the calf. Now he's going to go to the back of the center of the leg. This is the first time that the center line of the, cab, of the calf and thigh have been approached directly. coming up with a palm press now sitting on the upper thigh and leaning back against his partner's body this is a deeply relaxing move that opens and stretches the hip and coming down the palm press down the thigh. Now coming across to the bent leg he rotates his position so that he has access to both the upper and the lower leg. Coming down, he holds the ankle, stretches the foot,
finger circles on the top of the foot notice how he's using his foot to stretch the ankle now we begin on the second line on the outside of the leg up to the hip coming back down the second line the third line now going up the center line of the thigh returning down in this position he's doing just two lines the first line in the calf to the second line in the thigh then the third line in the calf to the center of the thigh 